dash come off because they're not allowed in Germany. Lane discipline is so good in Germany on the autobahns. If you don't stay in the outside lane too long, otherwise you're going to have a big shunt up the <laughs> jacksie. <laughs> Even the people carriers are doing over 100 miles an hour. We're doing 60 and we've all that recording. Well, what a nightmare. The place is absolutely chocker full. And we have to stay here because we need to get our go box for the tolls. Had to park and block some lorries in. So I'm leaving Michelle in the motorhome. She's praying that uh, they don't need to get out because she's going to have to move it. I'm also praying that too because we're right at the end of the car park. The only way out is back onto the motorway and I'll be just left here. So I've got my documents, my uh, V5 certificate in of conformity to prove that I'm Eurocat 6 and some insurance documents just in case. I haven't got my passport though. Just went back to get my passport. I'm not going to queue in there all the way just to find I need to come back. So it says that only the car registration. It's a P5. Just change queue because there's only one that says go box. Okay, got it. All I needed was the B5 registration. Unfortunately though, it doesn't have the emissions class on there. Uh, I did a separate document, but that's not good enough. I've got to send an email off to the Australian government with uh, evidence that we are Eurocat 6. If I don't do that, it's about twice as much, I think. So I better get on that. That was 166 euros for the box and to load it with uh, money for the tolls. I can claim it back if I don't use it all. I'm locked out. Sorted. Hey, fantastic. There it is. Is that what it is? Your very own go box. Ooh, how exciting. <laughs> so he's now decided where to put the go box. So I've asked somebody from Germany and they say it has to be kind of four arms length up from the bottom of the windscreen, right in front of where the GoPro is, annoyingly. So... Did you speak German when you spoke to him? I used a uh, pointy language. Pointy language. So I reckon about there. <laughs> there it is, that's where it's going. Wow. It's quite big, isn't it? Go box, done! Welcome to Austria. Hello from our first site in Austria. And yeah. We need to show you the views first before you say any more, but look at this. Look how stunning that is up there. Just gorgeous. So we're at Camping Owit. I can't say it. I don't know how to say it. A W. That's A U W. Go on. I R T. Do I show you? We've probably said it wrong, but let me just show you the views at KT. And we are how far away from Salzburg? Eight miles from Salzburg. Eight miles. Got the beautiful mountains, you've got the sun over there from the mountains and all the way across. Stunning. I think so, we're going to be happy bunnies, aren't we, here for the next two nights? Yep, yeah, so we're going to go into Salzburg this afternoon. It's four o'clock already, so it might be a quick bike ride or a bus journey. Quick fill up with water and then we're off.
Well, we're halfway back now. Didn't go for a drink in Salzburg, but uh, found this lovely place, and uh, I've got a nice a first beer. An apple apple surprise. Apple surprise. Here's to our proper holiday starting now. Cheers, everyone. And we're back. Hey, fabulous. Well done, babe. Great job. Good morning. Here in very beautiful Austria. And because we're only a few miles from Salzburg, we've decided to go there for the whole day today. And uh, thank you for all your comments and messages from places for us to see. And has been doing a little bit of uh, yeah, typing, <laughs> working out what we're going to do because we've only got one day and there's so much to see, isn't there? Yeah. So um, before we start looking, I'm going to make you a cup of coffee and then you can tell them all about it. Oh, making me a C, a O, a F, F, E, a coffee for me. <laughs> it's going to be one of them mornings, isn't it? Probably one of those days. <laughs> excited about the sound of music? Well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. <laughs> we'll catch you later. Fabulous views this morning. So here's the site. Here's the bus stop. Three an hour. So we're going to go on the Monday to Friday, 11 minutes past 10 bus. Ready for Salzburg? Yeah. Salzburg. Well, we're in Salzburg now. That was about 20 minutes to get here. Five minutes. Didn't feel that long because there's lots of scenery, wasn't there? So let's go and find the gardens. Yeah, let's go into the Mirabel Garden. to the castle now it is so much quiet it's monday today yesterday when we came this place was heaving so it's lovely isn't it it's much more relaxed so i think we should be able to walk around the castle in a little bit more peace but yeah we're gonna head up there and go and have a look we can start singing no. my hills are alive <laughs> Got a love funicular. There we go. Let's do it. <laughs> ah, thank you.
you speak English. English. Yes, we do. We're <laughs> <laughs> looking going. Uh, I think the bowl salad are the same. Yes, uh, he's got olives. Olives is mine. Yep, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Are you British. It's very British. That looks yeah. amazing. <laughs> Thank Could you, you enjoy a meal? Could Haven't been shopping yet, so it's pretty much uh, whatever's in the fridge. But I think we've done okay. I think we've done all right, actually. Romantic meal, beautiful setting. Cheers, babe. Cheers. We've got no drink. We've already drunk it, but cheers. High five. <laughs> Morning. Morning. So we've left our campsite, and now we're heading off to Slovenia. But before we go, we've got one more thing to do. Planned it. It's Four Lines. Sound of Music Cycle Tour here in Salzburg. Should be a good one. So excited for this. Can't wait. We've parked Katie, as you can see. What a beautiful backdrop that is. I'm just blown away by that. Parked it up in the park and ride and then we're going to take a bus into Salzburg itself and then get on the bikes. Here it goes. So here we are at Fräulein Maria's bicycle tour. Got a bike with a basket. This is so cool. Love it. So, and we're following the group. Let's go. Tally ho! Bit of an optical illusion there, seeing the crown lower onto the statue's head. So apparently this is the steep bit of the ride. No e-bike today, it's all going to be muscle power. Woman down. Oh God, but it's big time. Switch on the electric. Ah. And we're there. <laughs> Woo. Do you do that with one hand? Yeah. <laughs> Basket bike. <laughs> it's a, yes, you. Uh, so for the sake of the movie, the, the camera was so big that they couldn't get the shots that they wanted. So they actually cut this bar here, didn't ask, they just went ahead and did it. Um, and then they hastily put it back, um, welding it together, and you can still see that weld mark here. That's a great fact, thank you. Fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Babe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 
you kind of start to see. So this is a lake where the kids fell out the boat into the water. It's filmed in April as well and it was icy cold. Let's do the take of the uh, scene four times. So it was a tough movie to make I think. <laughs> Doe, a deer, a female deer, Ray, a drop of gold in the sun. Me, a name <laughs> I call myself, a long way from. <laughs> it can't just be me, it's got to be someone else. Are you having a go? <laughs> wow, that was superb. We slightly went over time, didn't we? We were having such a good time, lovely group of people. And Lindsay was amazing, She's so knowledgeable. So many great facts, wasn't there? Oh yeah, and things that you would never know that now we're going to have to watch the film again. We're hot footing it because we need to get a quick bit of lunch on the road to Slovenia. Next country. Hey babe. Oh yeah, Slovenia, here we come.